me again, Monica Stamper, and uh, here again with Officer Jones, and he's going to go over the pre-trip inspection for the with the trailer and the truck attached to each other. So basically, he's going to do the trailer, okay? And I appreciate all of you, and I'm going to give it to you. All right, I'm Officer Jones. Going to show you a quick pre-trip on the trailer. We just got done with the tractor, now we're going to do the trailer. Going to get the driver to turn on all the lights on the trailer. All right, what we're going to start with on the trailer is we're going to look up the top, see the clearance lights on the front of the trailer. They're working in good working order. We're going to check the supply lines for the air, make sure that they're not abrased or shaved in any way. So we're going to check both the lines, make sure they're good. All right, both those lines are good. Then we're going to come down, we're going to check the electric wire, make sure that it's locked in right here. Make sure it's locked in good and tight. Once we do that, we're going to check the front of the trailer, make sure that everything's riveted in. There's no rivets missing. Make sure everything's in good working order. We're going to come down the side of the trailer, make sure that the side of the body of the trailer, there's no rivets missing. The rails are good. The rails aren't sagging. Once we check that, we're going to walk down. And this trailer has skirts on it, so you can't see as good, but we're going to look under and check all the cross members under the trailer. Check all the cross members, making sure none of the the cross members are sagging or missing once we do that we're going to come on back we're going to make sure that the drop leg for the trailer is in good working order there's no bolts or anything missing there's no cracks that it's in good working order we're also going to make sure that there's enough room to make tight turns in between the back of the trailer and the drop leg then we're going to come on down the side if your truck has a reaper unit on it we're going to check the fuel cap, make sure the fuel cap, just like on the truck, has the rubber O-ring and the spring. Make sure it doesn't leak out while you're going down the roadway. So you just take it out, make sure it has the rubber O-ring, screw it back on, make sure it's on tight. Coming down the side of the trailer, we're going to make sure that our inter intermediate lights are working. Making sure that all of our lights up and down the top of the trailer are working. We're going to get back here, get back to the tires. We're going to look at our tires just like we did the tandem on the truck. We're going to look on the inside, make sure it's not abrased or anything like that. Make sure there's no cuts. Make sure that the both tires are wearing evenly, that they have at least two 30 seconds. We're going to look in here at the same time. We're going to make sure that the sliding tandem is locked in, that all four pins on the trailer that they're locked in so the tandem won't slide out from under the truck. We're also going to make sure that everything's in good working order on the spring hangers, that everything's the air ride, everything's bolted in and working in the fashion they should. Once we've done that, we're going to move out to the outer wheel. We're going to make sure that all the lugs are on the outer wheel, that there's none missing. The axle seal's on there and it's not leaking. Okay. Once we do that, we're going to move to the on back. As we check this set, we're going to look and make sure that there's still mud flap on there, that it meets the requirements of a mud flap that it's hanging low enough to keep debris from coming off the tires and hitting another car behind you. Once we check the mud flap, we'll move on back to the back of the trailer, checking all the lights first. Left blinker, right blinker, brake. All right, all the lights work. So once we check that, we're going to make sure that all the retro reflective tapes on the back of the tractor are out on the back of the trailer to make sure that you can see the trailer if the lights malfunction and quit working. We're also going to make sure the retro reflective tapings on the bottom of the bumper. Make sure the bumper is bolted securely, not cracked and falling away from the vehicle. Once we check that, we're going to check and make sure that the doors on the back of the trailer are secured, they're locked, that all the hangers and all the all the hardware is there and none of the hardware is missing and that's pretty much everything on your trailer thank you so much for watching this video um, Kennesaw transportation is all about safety here if you are looking for a career in transportation this is the place to go here at Kennesaw transportation you're a person here you're part of our family and we would love to have you Again, thank you, Officer Jones, for coming in and doing this for us, us, and I am so excited. All right, thank you. Be safe.